Hi, this is Terry Crews, actor, former football player, game show host, father of five, and all around big dude. I'm also an expert on drama. I know all kinds of drama. There's the good kind that comes with having a house full of kids. There's the bad kind like season ending injuries. There's the necessary kind like having an agent in Hollywood. And there's silly drama like the drama around my percolating pectorals. And then there's the drama you can skip. Skip the drama that comes with not having your high school diploma or equivalency. Find free adult education classes near you and finish your high school diploma. Visit finishyourdiploma.org. Or text diploma to 97779. Message and data rates may apply. Reply stop to opt out. That's diploma to 97779. And leave the drama to actors like me. Brought to you by the Dollar General Literacy Foundation and the Ed Council. Adopt US Kids presents Multiple Choice Parenting. Your daughter just had her first breakup. Do you A, put yourself in her shoes? How could he do this to you? And for Sheila, she, she has split ends. B, console her. Oh, sweetie, this is going to happen a lot. Four, maybe five more times before we get married. C, take charge. Got to get this all straightened out. Keep a little talking to man to man, mano a mano. Hey, Steve, it's now a good time? No? Okay, no problem. Fine. Or D, help her find a new boyfriend. I know a great place to meet boys. The internet. Nice, single boys. Never mind. How about some ice cream? As a parent, there are no perfect answers. But you don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. Thousands of teens in foster care will love you just the same. For more information on how you can adopt, visit AdoptUSKids.org. A public service announcement from the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services, AdoptUSKids, and the Ad Council. This is you over 30 years ago. Are we there yet? Are we there yet? And this is your mom when you drive her back from therapy. Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Roles change without us noticing. And in your new role, we help you help. AARP gives you the information to help care for your mom so that you can have patience with her just like she did with you. Visit aarp.org slash caregiving or call 1-877-333-5885 to get practical health and wellness tips to provide even better care for your loved one. Are we there yet? Remember, Visit aarp.org slash caregiving. AARP, we help you help. A public service announcement brought to you by AARP and the Ad Council. When I was little, I didn't talk for a long time. I liked things to always be the same. Anything new or different would scare and upset me. I was very sensitive to lights and sounds. It was almost like I had bigger eyes and ears than everyone else. So I built secret hiding places where nothing could get in. I didn't like looking people in the eye. It made me feel uncomfortable. I'd throw big tantrums over little things like when my socks didn't match. Sometimes I'd do the same things over and over. Until one day, I found out I had autism. My family got me help. Slowly, I learned how to live with it better. You can see signs of autism in children as young as 18 months. Early intervention can make a lifetime of difference. Learn the signs at AutismSpeaks.org slash signs. Brought to you by Autism Speaks and the Ad Council. It's Thursday night and you're grabbing drinks with some friends. Start it off with a pitcher for the table, which quickly becomes two. There's pool. And there's the photo booth. All right, everybody squeeze in. Say cheese. Followed naturally by an order of wings. And another. Can we get some extra ranch sauce? Then there's the ceremonial nightcap. So what are we doing this weekend? And lastly, it's back to the car. Which, if you're buzzed... <laughs> ...could be the most expensive night of your life. Getting pulled over for buzz driving could cost you around $10,000 in fines, legal fees, and increased insurance rates. Nothing kills a buzz like getting pulled over for buzz driving, because buzz driving is drunk driving. Brought to you by the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration and the Ad Council. 
It is the Worldwide Sports Radio Network. I'm not a scientist. I'm not an expert in footballs. I'm not an expert in football measurements. I don't want anyone rubbing them, uh, putting in the air in them, taking the air out. To me, those balls are perfect, and that's what I expect when I show up. I can't show it all the football. It's so goddamn hard to hold on to it. Introducing Mike Cash Collins and Scott Stack Simpson as the Fantasy Millionaires. What is up, people? Welcome to the Fantasy Millionaires Off Season Edition. Check us out. Your boys got a new home on the Worldwide Sports Radio Network. And we are blasting off from a hot new digital location. Uh, For all the people who are tuning in for the first time, uh, we are the Fantasy Millionaires. I'm going to let my boy Scott Stack Simpson fill you in, give you a little bit of a bio on us. Dude, I got to tell you, you look great, by the way. Um, Yeah, you're you're just you're you're crushing it. Um, You've been working out. Getting your beard trimmed up. Get a little kiss for that. Yeah, you little you look sexy, man. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, we are the fantasy millionaires. I am Scott Stack Simpson. This is my partner in crime, uh, partner in fantasy football, partner in life, just one of my favorite people ever, Mike Cash Collins. Get to know both of us because we're gonna be around for a while. Every Monday night, 10 to 11, we're gonna kick it. We did a show this year, it was a podcast, it started last summer. We did 26 episodes and uh we loved it. We couldn't stop talking. So excited to be on the Worldwide Sports Radio Network. Excited to kick it. Man, excited to be with you. You're looking good, looking fresh. We've got a nice digital background. We're crushing it. So excited, brother. How you doing? Yeah, we're just, uh, we're basically a couple of um, non-fungible tokens here in this fantasy landscape. And uh, excited, excited to be partnering with uh, this new home. Uh Check out their app. We're, we'll be on there. Worldwide Sports Radio Network has a, an app you can download. It's free. It's WWSRN. If you search for it in the app store, you'll find it. Um, yeah, man. Uh, I, I, you know, we're in the off season now. We're welcome to the welcome to the Fantasy Millionaires off season show because we're 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 gonna be rolling a little. I mean, what is there to talk about? Well, the, what, what, no offense, we are the show, a little bit of the show. What, what, what do you, you want to talk about? <laughs> you know, I want to know who the backup running back is. For yeah, the right. <laughs> the Hawks right now. <laughs> Who's the practice squad guy that you Let's put talk. on your Debbie team? Yeah, yeah. Let's talk R- Rashard Petty. Yeah. Dude, oh, man. If he just hadn't gotten hurt this year or the year before, man, he'd be so fire, man. You know, he'd be non fungible, but I think right now I think he's fungible. So, yeah. Yeah, well, we're excited. There's uh, a bunch of other cool shows on the network. There's betting shows, wrestling shows. Mr. Scott has has uh, a, a show in the works with our favorite man in the world, Bo McBigTime, called Chalk Blocked. Big fan of Bo McBigTime. Love me some Bo McBigTime. Uh, he is the man. Uh, he's always the man. Uh, really excited. Uh, you know, um, I Thanks to Joe Bond, by the way, who said congrats. Real excited, Joe. Uh, me and Bo actually write for Joe over at the fantasy six pack.net. Bo writes for me at nimblewnumbers.com. And uh, we're just so excited that we can bring our brand of fantasy football and of content. Really, this is the thing sports and life, they're, they're you know, very much simpatico. And so we're, we're kind of bringing a brand that is sports life and everything else that comes with it. So uh, we're excited to be here. And uh, for those who have been with us the whole time, we're excited to continue killing it here in the off season. We've got a bunch of new things to talk about. You know, we're going to be ourselves. We're going to just do what we do. Yeah. Yeah. What, what, what has been dominating your life in, in now that we're in the off season, what are you, what are you doing? What do you I mean? Doing? I'm obsessed with the not getting an NBA top shot. Uh, that's something I've been pretty obsessed with every day. It's it's kind of like 
you feel like maybe the king will throw out something to you and you'll, you'll go, oh, I got it, every day. And then it's, it, he doesn't come anywhere near you and you get jobbed or whatever, you know, and, uh, and just, it's like a kick in the nuts. NBA top shot, hashtag kick in the nuts. So, so how, do you, how do you do it? Tell so the me way how it works. Is they have pack drops and they only give out a certain amount of, of, of packs, make 60,000, 50,000. Right. And they'll say, all right, we're going to drop them at, at two o'clock. So right. jump on the website a little bit before two, you get into a queue and then they randomize it. But, but I've never gotten one once I've been in there every single time. And so it's just so annoying. But where are you going? Like you to go where, to NBA where? top shot. It's a, it's a, a site that you go Dot to. Com. Yeah. Yeah. And um, you have to sign up for an account. I already, I purchased um, different moments on the, on the app. And they also like, if you, if you don't have moments already, we're not gonna let you get packs, which is kind of, like that kind of goes against like trying to get in the door. Anyway, I just would love to buy a pack. Uh, you can't even buy a pack. There's hundreds of thousands of people in here. And uh, I understand maybe they didn't understand it be this big, you know, because I mean, you're creating a market. You're, you're starting something. But they got to understand now that people want it and they got to figure out a way. If you don't get it, that you get I'm automatically bumped up to the next queue. Like they have your email. They have your data. They know you're there. They know you're not getting in multiple times. That's just my, that's my gripe of the, it grinds my gears. You know what I mean? Yeah. Keeping people out of the market grinds my gears. Since, since our last show, I am all about NFTs. Oh, I mean, that's, too, man. yeah, that, that is what is popping in the off season. Uh, so you just go to the site and then you get a chance to, purchase potentially a bid on it like they they pick your name and then you still have to outbid people correct no, no. then it's it's a set price so oh it's a set price you get a, the packs that were out yesterday were 199 dollars, and they had 30 packs and i think they had um i don't know why are they doing it like that they should just be having like a bidding war like this is they're losing money there's so much money in all this stuff right now there's like, I know more. LeBron James went for, like, $200,000. Yeah, yeah. And NFT LeBron about. James. It's, it's just, it seems like the same people are, are getting the money again and again. And so, yeah, I, I, I'm not against them. I just would like access to be a little more equitable. That's my, you know, my position. Uh, I'm not against them at Dude, all. Dude, let me, let me tell you a new little spot that I've hit been me, hit me. exploring. I want to hear it, brother. Internet, okay. Uh, it's called Edgy Rally. McKee. Rally. R-A-L-L-Y. Okay. What's it about? So in rally, you're actually buying real products and they sell it in the form of shares. So you own a piece of like, I got a Patrick Mahomes. I got two shares of a super mint, whatever it's called. I don't know. It's like a card, De right? Decla nine. And no, no, it's not an NFT. It's not an NFT. Okay. You, this is not NFTs. These are like you can buy wine, you can buy shoes, and you and all these people go in on a product that costs, you know, anywhere from twenty thousand to two hundred thousand or whatever, and then you own shares of it, sort of like a stock. Mm -hmm. And dude, I, I, I don't know what. I don't know what the hell I'm doing on it. I'm just, I bought some. I bought I bought uh I bought a Patrick Mahomes. I bought a Michael Jordan baseball cleats. I bought one share of them. Mm -hmm. And then I bought uh what was the third thing I bought? Uh Mahomes. Oh, it was um the original Fantastic 4. So I bought it. So I don't know what I, what what this is going to do. You have one one thousandth of a corner of a right, right. I paid right. like forty bucks. I paid forty bucks for all that. But apparently nice. they got you. They tricked you. They just maybe, yeah. maybe. Okay. Uh, I don't know. You uh, the way the what so the way I learned about all of this is through Clubhouse. Clubhouse is the. If you're not on Clubhouse right now, please DM me or shoot me an email later. If you got iOS, you're on the the iPhone platform. You need to be on Clubhouse or in Clubhouse. <laughs> Get inside. Clubhouse has. I have been. Today was like the first day that I had a. I had some boring moments on Clubhouse. Okay. It's uh. 
yeah so what it is it's it's uh it's a new social media platform where people go in and it's like twitter but there's actual rooms where you have conversations with people so it's just like it's just like the internet just keeps (laughs) we are all just gonna be have glasses on and just hanging out with each other all the time like this is the next evolution of the internet And, and it's crazy because being on there has me it's like the internet is teaching me about the internet it's mm. it's it's it, you're I, getting it, interneted i'm yeah, it's programming it, I, like i i get you get exposed to so much stuff like all the stuff with nfts yeah I, there's rooms where you can go in and you can talk to you can actually listen to original people who helped create the market people mm. who help create actual art it's insane yeah. And you get you get in these little ancillary rooms with other people and they know so much stuff and they just tell you all this stuff and it just like blows your mind. I, I'm, 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 I, the, the, I, so we've both seen the social dilemma, right? Yes, we have. Yeah. So the social dilemma is it is necessary viewing in 2021. You, Everybody you, can see it. It's a if you, if you value yourself and understand what's happening with your your content that you're consuming and who's tracking and how it works, you gotta you gotta watch it, dude. I was gonna do a tweet the other day. I just didn't do it. Uh, That's what she phone, said. My <laughs> my phone sent me uh, a little notification of my sh- screen time, and it said last uh, last week you averaged. Uh, 16 hours and one minute of screen time. <laughs> so you're not even sleeping. Well, I think that that's why it's so high is because I put YouTube on and I just listen to music. It, yeah. Well, I listen to podcasts actually. Yeah. You know, uh, that that's like how I sleep. I need something in my ear talking to me. So, but me, me whispering every night to you on the phone isn't enough, bro. It doesn't get you there. In Clubhouse, you can go into lullaby rooms. I heard, yeah. I signed up for thing. one. Yeah. yeah. You I you went in one? You went in I, a lullaby yeah. room? I did. I did go in one. What did they sing? They It was just like, um, it was instrumental. And uh-huh. I don't, I, I recognize the tune, but it wasn't like, it was, it was a more of a classic, not a, like a children's lullaby, like a baby, you know, like it was, um, it was cool. Yeah, yeah. Well, so in it, it, getting back to the the social dilemma thing, I I watched that and I was like, wow, you know, the, you know, whatever's happening in the world right now, the, the facts are facts. You you when you're on your phone, you are connected to the the beginning of AI programming human behavior. That's that's what you basically learn through that movie. Yeah. Is that every time you pick up your phone, you you are you you're not just picking up your phone, you're picking up a portal that was programmed by the smartest computer engineers in the world that they connected you with this infinite algorithm maker that decides what it's gonna send you on its own. You yeah. Know? Yeah. So it, it, it's, so, it, it, it's so crazy how they, if you, if you watch the movie, if you haven't, they understand how much time you look at per picture, where you touch on your phone, uh, how long it takes you to, to interact to which content they'll push it up. So they know, here's the thing I, I told Mike about it. When it comes to Twitter, I'm cool with it because what it'll do on Twitter is go, you like Denny Carter, Pfft, Denny's at the top. Oh, you're a Pete Davidson guy. Check him out. Sal Betri. Right. Here's his content. But for me, it's not pushing me towards buying things. It's pushing me towards people that I want to see in their content. So I'm, I'm okay with it on Twitter, but in the other, like Facebook and what they did in the elections and how they're right. You know, if you want to storm the Capitol, 
Yeah. Right. It'll get it'll get you in touch. It'll get you in touch. I read an article. Hey, man, where you at? You storming that? Where you storming? I'm down here. I'm so I'm praying and singing. I'm in the prayer circle. Do you remember those people that uh were attempting to kidnap the governor of Michigan? Yes, yes I right? do remember those you remember that story? Of course. So I read it, I read an article about uh how the FBI was able to thwart them because they had an insider mm -hmm. who he got connected with these people because he liked guns and mm -hmm. he was a second, a second amendment guy. And so the algorithm made, mm -hmm. made him make friends. And, 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 and then these people sent him an encrypted thing that he is some weird i don't know what this stuff is some weird encryption system that the storm the capital people used to talk to each other yeah. and they were like download this brother so <laughs> we can have a real conversation right and then so he downloaded it and then they were just saying like the weirdest s in the world just you know like he as soon as he started talking with them he's like okay good good talking to you guys and he called the fbi <laughs> <laughs> and so that's how they stopped him. He 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 ratted him out. He was undercover for them. Like that's the FBI all? was like, "Great, bro. Thank you. You know, stay stay in stay in the encryption system." Mm -hmm. And so he was part of their gang. Like they went to uh, Black Lives Matters rallies, and uh, I, if I understood it right, like they were trying to find a way to actually attack the police at Black Lives Matters rallies. Sounds, sounds typical. And yeah, and so this guy was just, you know, and then I guess they were like, we got to get the governor, man. <laughs> and, then, and then the FBI was like, okay, got enough. Right, that's that's the line we draw. That's grouped in. Yeah. Hey, man, read this encrypted Bible. It's encrypted. Yeah. yeah. Oh, man, that is that is wild. I'm, uh, yeah. So, so we've just been hanging out doing nothing, basically, is what it sounds like, you know, just, just uh, all chill. I'm doing is clubhouse. The thing is, is that it's like, so I, I, you know, I watch the social dilemma. I realize I need to be aware of what is happening. And now that I'm on clubhouse, I've made a decision that I need to let the internet program me. Oh wow. You're going yeah. full internet. Because there's so much stuff. Like, oh, little surprise for you, buddy. Okay. So I have been learning all this stuff. I'm gonna sound like such an idiot because I don't under even understand this. But these are Can't wait. this is this is in these rooms where they're talking NFTs. Yes. You know, I'm finding out about this thing called rally where mm -hmm. you buy share and 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 sooner or later people start bidding on it so that they can i mean that's that's the way rally works is like you buy one thing and then maybe you double your money just because somebody wants to own it at the end so it becomes it's like a little market game right mm -hmm. uh, all these people are explaining all this stuff right yes the bomb for all you people out there one of the things they were talking about well first they started talking about Roblox, right? This is this is uh my I daughter guess we're Roblox. They do. They play yeah. Roblox. Yes. Right. So Roblox is actually getting ready to do an IPO uh Wednesday, right? Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of a lot of talk in the stock market rooms about Roblox, right? Yeah. Yeah. But so one of the things that they were saying when they were talking about Roblox was that it it uh, it has its own currency in there. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you know. See, my mm -hmm. kids are not old enough yet where they're not yeah. on Roblox. But like all these parents are budgeting money each week with th th that they have to give their kids to give them Roblox stuff because they it, make it's actually what do they do? Cool. Explain it. What do they do? They make like shoes and stuff. Like what do you, <laughs> what do your daughters do with the Roblox money? What do they do? Oh man, they do whatever they want. Um, yeah, well, what, like what's what's it for? I don't know so any. Of if you're in Roblox, you can. This is what's so funny is they're basically being programmed to just be part of the the the, the mesh network of 
you know, connecting humans to computers because mm -hmm. they're making them build houses and own property and do jobs and stuff. Mm -hmm. And so there's different games. The, the game that I play with my daughter, London, that, that we enjoy the most is called, uh, it's called Jailbreak. And so uh, you can be a police officer or you can be uh, a, a, a jail person. And your goal is to get out of jail and then you can uh, boof cops, which means shoot cops, which is crazy. Mm -hmm. you, know, mm -hmm. getting, you, you, you rob banks and then you take money and then you give it to your, your hideout, whatever it is. And mm -hmm. if you do this, you're able to upgrade your character. And what's, what people really like about it is the freedom to like design out their character. That's what really people like to do is they like to get more, they get to earn more. And so sometimes in games like jailbreak, London is just great at it because she plays it. She doesn't have to buy anything with Roblox, but other games you do. And when you want to upgrade your pets or whatever it is, you buy it with Roblox. And so in my family, we actually have a currency that we we pay them to do things. And we give them Roblox money. And it's not even right. a joke. Right. Like we do, we already have that currency exchange in our, our home. So you're hitting hitting home. So continue to tell about and so it's so it's just wild how all this stuff connects, right? And this is what I'm saying. Like the internet is just blowing my mind as I'm just getting on it for hours, mm -hmm. letting it tell me what, what's happening. Is that the some of these like so the so the idea is that some of these things are become they, these kids make their own games and then these games actually end up making that becoming valuable mm -hmm. and then items that they made for their game like well they're gonna uh, end up becoming some type of like nf like if, if london made a sock for one of her characters they have that they have special things they trade is going to become an nft it's yes. gonna it's gonna become an original thing so here's the the surprise for you ready yeah and this is everybody listening it's, i'm dropping gems i'm, I'm listening dropping, i'm dropping clubhouse gems okay yeah so then they told me about this thing called unstoppable domains mm -hmm. where this is a decentralized form of the internet right mm -hmm. you go on there you buy you don't buy a dot com you buy a dot crypto mm -hmm. and the dot crypto will eventually according to these people like i said i don't understand this it's going to be first of all if you want to get in the crypto game yeah i do get, get yourself a, me too get yourself a dot, dot crypto okay mm -hmm. and then your dot crypto is uh, if things go the way these people are saying, it's going to become your own cryptocurrency. Okay. So mm. special announcement. Once the fantasy millionaires get their own uh, uh, crypto wallets and we get some t-shirts up on the website, I don't know if we'll, we'll do this, uh, you know, in, in the next few months, but the fantasy millionaires own the fantasy millionaires dot crypto. So can't, sorry, we, 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 I got it for us, bud. You got that. I got the fancy. You locked it down. You locked out a currency. <laughs> I locked it down. Yeah. We're safe. Can, can, can I start uploading NFTs to that yet? Or, bro, now don't make my head spin. I don't okay. Know okay. What the hell I'm talking about? Hey, listen, I have out. no idea. Listen, let, let me just take this much. In I, my 40s. Listen, I, I love what everyone's doing. I love what Pete Overs is doing, collecting the, these cards, these NFTs in the NBA. I love it. It's cool. It's great. Right. Guess what? Guess what? Uh, we're going to be the first fancy football show, the first show just to be NFT'd. So that's what we're trying we're to do. We're NFTing for sure. We're NFTing. We're cryptoing yeah. up as a show. That's an, that's a yeah. great announcement. I love that. What a what a cool thing to be on the first fancy millionaires on the worldwide sports radio network. And and speaking of that, that's a great time to segue. Unfortunately, because uh, we got to go commercial. We'll come back in about five minutes. And hit you. What's the tease, uh, my my good man? What we got coming up in the in the in the back half? We're we're gonna get we're gonna we're gonna get into a little football conversation. We got mm -hmm. we got some uh, uh, some COVID things that we need to discuss, and we're gonna yeah. we're gonna get into uh, three three important quarterback considerations for the fantasy season. I love it. And with that, we are gonna bounce out. We'll be back in about five minutes, folks. Ranger Station, Ranger speaking. Hi, um, 
I'd like to report a bear hug. Yeah, uh-huh. Okay. Well, we were building a bonfire, and I, I saw some, like, dry brush and leaves around, so you know, I, I said to move the bonfire somewhere else, and out of nowhere, Smokey Bear shows up and hugs me. So you noticed some wildfire hazards and moved your bonfire to a safer location. Yeah. Yeah, that's Smokey, all right. He likes when people help prevent wildfires. He did some close ones. Not everybody gets the hug, my friend. Now, that's pretty special to get a hug from Smokey Bear. Oh, so it was him. Hey, guys, I told you it was Smokey. Okay, well, congratulations, my friend. And thanks for calling. There are many ways to prevent a wildfire. Learn how you can do your part at SmokeyBear.com. Only you can prevent wildfires. Sponsored by the U.S. Forest Service, Ad Council, and your state forester. Hope you enjoyed your meal. And I just want to say, he's lucky to have a brother like you. Lucky? Caring for my brother is far from easy. Waking up every day, lifting him from the bed to the wheelchair to the car to get him to therapy on time, it's no small task between the doctors and the diagnosis, but nothing can disable this love. This is my big brother, my hero. He's part of me, like my arms and legs. So I'll be his. <laughs> See, there's no time for tired. This starts again tomorrow. He'll be waiting for me. I wake up for him. I know he needs me, but I'm the lucky one. Even though I need help now and then. If you're caring for a loved one, visit aarp.org slash caregiving for care guides and community. Or call 877-333-5885. Caregiving Resource Center. Support for your strength. Brought to you by AARP and the Ad Council. Be fearless at MMA Long Island and Seijuha Karate. Located at 28 Cold Court in Ronkonkoma, MMA Long Island is the martial arts school for you if you want to learn combat-proven techniques, build confidence, discipline, and self-esteem while learning real martial arts to fight back against bullies, predators, and peer pressure. MMA Long Island offers group and private lessons for all ages and levels in traditional goju-ru karate, MMA, and self-defense. MMA Long Island is one of Long Island's most affordable martial arts schools. There are no promotion, belt, or membership fees, and family discounts are available. All classes are taught by 7th degree black belt sensei John Benedict with over 30 years teaching experience. So whether you want to get in the ring or protect yourself and your family, MMA Long Island can help you reach your goals. Visit MMALongIsland.com. That's MMALongIsland.com or call or text 516-381-9660. That's 516-381-9660. Do current market conditions have you nervous? Our experienced team of financial professionals at Heritage Harbor Financial Associates understands that no two investors are alike. We all have different goals, needs, and appetites for risk. That's why the one-size-fits-all approach does not work, especially when planning for retirement. At Heritage Harbor Financial Associates, we analyze your unique investment style so that you can work toward your individual retirement goals on your terms. Heritage Harbor Financial Associates can help you take steps to reach your retirement goals by providing a wide array of financial financial products to fit your needs, even for the risk adverse. Give us a call at 631-331-6599 to learn more or to set up an appointment with one of our financial professionals. You can also find us on the web at hhfa.org or on Facebook at facebook.com slash hhfa.org. Our number again is 631-331-6599, 631-331-6599. Investments in stock bonds, and mutual funds and variable annuities are not FDIC insured and are subject to fluctuation in value market risk. Including loss of principal Heritage Harbor Financial Associates offer securities through AXA Advisors LLC New York, New York. Member FINRA, SIPC, annuity and insurance products offered through AXA Network LLC. Edward Lehman has been a trusted insurance advisor for over 16 years with insurance solutions for auto, home, commercial, life, and retirement. He's located at 54 Sunnyside Boulevard, Suite H in Plainview. That's just 1,000 feet south of 495. Local agent, local advice. The time to think about insurance is before you need it. So do yourself a favor, and before you pay your next insurance bill, give Ed and his team a call, 516-935-3900, or visit him online at www.allstate.com forward slash EL. Edward H. Lehman Insurance is your trusted insurance advisor. It is the Worldwide Sports Radio Network. 
for Woo to Woo got something that I know that everybody want to hear because I know oh, yeah. I've been waiting to hear. Now, back to the Fantasy Millionaires. Dude, we're back. I love it. That's excellent. What a great sweeper. They call that in the biz. Uh, inside radio term right there. Uh, I love it. Great pick there. You got the woo in there. You got a little bit of DJ Premier in there, dude, for the heads. That is awesome. I love it, dude. We're back. I am Scott Stax Simpson. I'm kicking it with my man, Mike Cash Collins. We're going to talk a little football because we did tease it before. You know, um, let's talk about our intro song because in the intro, no, I'm just kidding. In the intro song, we do talk about footballs too. Uh, but no, Kyle, let, let's let's uh, hear what, what the football uh, the football got going on right now. What's going on? So, Touchdowns. We we had uh, uh, three three quarterbacks that we wanted to bandy about tonight for for the show. So we're gonna do a little uh, Russell Wilson, Deshaun Watson and Ryan Fitzpatrick, all very interesting uh, ac potential acquisitions for teams. Here's, here's, here's what's interesting. I don't understand the Russell Wilson stuff. W w w like, uh, uh, and side note, Ryan Fitzpatrick, we picked him because he was, there was all these rumors that he was going to retire yeah, he he said out. I'm not saying I'm going to retire. So yep. uh, these dude. are these are the foosball combos. Yeah, yeah. This is straight foosballs. My daughter calls it. It's, my daughter London came down a couple of years ago or last year. One day she goes, I'm "Watching foosball all day?" I go, "Yeah, yeah. Of course I'm watching foosball all day." Um, where do you want to start? Here, I'll talk about this. I hyped it up. I actually said he was retiring, and I said, "You know, if it's magic forever, you say it three times, maybe we'll bring him back." It was from it was from John Clayton from ESPN. You know the guy with the ponytail and the funny ESPN commercial, which is my favorite John Clayton commercial slash ESPN commercial where he does the read. He's got the half shirt on. And he's like, and that's why he's betting eight sixty two. Whatever. All right, back to you. And then he takes his hair out. And he's got long hair and he jumps on his bed and he turns his music up and he's like, "Mom, shut up! I'm listening to my music." You know that's it's just that's John Clayton. So he said it. He said that. Right. He, you know. And so I went with the professional you know, million followers on Twitter guy. Um, but then Ian Rappaport came out and said, Ning -ning -ning -ning. so I'm glad that's a good thing. It's good. Also the, the, that I love him, man. He's my favorite dude. I, I, I went and did a little fantasy homework. And if you look at the, if you're, if you're picking your team, one of the things that's, you, you really gotta, you know, it's playing chess. You build the strongest pieces for your board. So, Average points per game, very important stat, right? Right. If you go and take out all the little BS games that he played, it was really six games last season. He averaged 30.08 points a game, which is it's it's better than Tom Brady. Is that good? Is that better good? Than, better than Ryan Tannehill, better than Kirk Cousins, better than Matt yeah. Ryan. I, I he like he's right. He's he's Deshaun Watson and Russell Wilson has averaged 32 and 31. So I am so happy that he is potentially going to stay around. Uh, Washington and football team. Washington, Washington. That's Washington. what I think. That's Washington exactly football. what I think. Yeah. Bring him yeah. to the Washington football team. Yeah. You, uh, dude, I would grow my beard out again and my wife would leave me. And this time it would be rightly deserved because I told her I wouldn't do it again. But for Fitzmagic in, in Washington, oh. Yeah, yeah, dude, that would just be. He is his beard is luscious. His his attitude is luscious. I was thinking about it today because we we're going to talk a little Fitz Magic. Why do I love this guy? And why did when people compared me to him earlier when my beard was big? Why did I take such pride in it? Because uh, yeah, he's a smart guy. People know that you mm -hmm. know he's a Harvard guy, real smart. But that's not it. You know, it's his it's his like uh, Brett Favreness that he has. Like he yeah. loves football so much. He will. Yeah. I've watched him run for touchdowns where he didn't know if he got in. He got his bell rung. He's just like, yeah, I'm happy to be here, you know. And yeah. he never went away. He just kept loving it and being there. And uh, I, I'm a fan of of him just from his whole persona. So glad he's sticking around, man. Sign him up immediately. So the the Washington football team is now there's the three teams I found that were you know saying that they're interested are Denver, Philly, and 
New England Bay watch, which oh, oh, I think would be really cool oh. if, if he's part of that. If you're yeah. new to the program, New England Bay Watch is a segment we did last year, and we're going to do it again this year probably, and it'd be great if we had a quarterback of that ilk in, in that position. We did it with Cam Newton and Tom Brady looking at that connection. Of course, Tom Brady won the Super Bowl, so, you know, it was a good segment all in all. You know, it worked. So Yeah, yeah. Well, I just, yeah, I, I, I'm i rooting for New England. I want, I want, I want Fitz and, and Belichick to be able to, to uh yeah you know yeah my man up. raymond crane senior there's a junior that's pretty cool uh you know he's with you he says bring him to the patriots you know bring him the super bowl you know let's do this thing lock stock mm -hmm. bring him over uh, mm -hmm. i'm i'm with it you know that's a system if bell bell checks a system guy you know i think i think that's magic can run a system i think that's oh, anything's like gonna... it I don't think he's going to take over cam spot but it, it, so i don't know if that's really the best spot for him but he does seem like he's comfortable being this um, cool backup. And, uh, you know, he is 38 years old. So, right. you know, the, I, I, you know, for fantasy purposes, though, he just was always such a fun little sexy guy to go get off the waiver wire. The, the, you know, you just had to get there first. Uh, and then it was fits of magic time, you know, like he'd be out there and you could just throw him in and boom. If he yeah. start, he's getting you 30 points a game, you know, he, starting this year. I remember Sal Vetri went back and talked about looking at the, the best top quarterbacks, you know, when, when you went back and, and looked at how they did in 2019, uh, it was, it was just magic. He was one of the top five. He was like, he was like the top, he finished in the top five, the most, on DraftKings in 2019, I think it was. And you just, you're like, wow, there's such value there. He kept being underpriced that year, I remember too. And so uh, he's always been lightning in a bottle when he comes in, man. He doesn't care about interceptions. <laughs> he's like, I don't care. I'm going to chuck it. And I love it. And his attitude is contagious. He wore booty shorts this year and went preening around on the Dolphins football field when they were stretching. It's one of my favorite stories. He's just, out there like bending over and being all you know sensuous and all the guys are like dude what are you doing you know they didn't want to see it it's hilarious yeah. i love that yeah. guy yeah i know so yeah he's going to be an interesting off-season acquisition and then of course you got deshaun watson mm -hmm. who is he really is the uh the primo so i uh, hear let me before we get to deshaun what what I I, uh, I got on the Worldwide Sports Radio Network to do a little homework for this, and they mm -hmm. um, had a great article um, about Russell Wilson by Ryan Hickey, and it was it was it was very informative because for me I don't even understand what what the conversation is. The the, the Seahawks are going to get rid of one of the one of the most premier quarterbacks of all time. I, I didn't understand. And the other thing I didn't understand that this article helped enlighten for me was what the hell happened last season? Like it, 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 it still doesn't make sense. Like I, I, he, he, his theory, mm -hmm. what he says is that it was uh so here, here's part of the article. As you can remember, Russ was cooking for the first half of the season through the first seven games of the season Wilson threw 26 touchdowns to six intercept six interceptions as Seattle jumped out to a six to one start the following two games against the bills blah 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 so the offense okay so uh okay so the following two games against the bills and Rams in which Wilson committed a total of seven turnovers led to the meeting between the coach and the quarterback detailed above that left the signal caller miffed since that meeting where it was decided more like demanded that the offense throttle down Wilson threw just 12 touchdowns to three mm. interceptions in the final seven games. Like what a drop off. Well, well what a bad strategy to, to ratchet it down. Is and that you know, what happened? Yeah, is, that, is that, is that, is that the explanation? Shot never got fired. Their offensive coordinator got fired at the end of the season. Yeah, but it's I mean, Pete Carroll, it's Pete Carroll. Like, that's the thing is that Pete Carroll wasn't smart enough to allow Russell Wilson 
to win a battle against uh, Schottenheimer. I don't think Russell Wilson has the Aaron Rodgers power or the the Peyton Manning power to go up to the line and do whatever he wants. I think he can have a couple plays. I don't think he has that. I don't think the playbook is open to him. I don't think that's a good playbook to have either. And I think he needs something new in that offense. And I think that's why he is saying, I'm unhappy. I'm getting sacked too much. You know, and that's what his little dance is where he puts out a little, little, you know, hostage. I want, this is my demand. These are my teams. I want, I want some croissant rolls, you know. Um, he's putting that out there just to kind of tell them I- I'm unhappy. I want more power. And if I don't get what I want, I'm going to look for something else. You know, and so. That's another interesting evolution in football now is what Deshaun Watson is doing where they just say, well, I can trade me. Yeah. You know? Well, they can just say no. And then he can I say, know. I'm sitting out. And then they can go, we suck anyway. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I don't know. I mean, yeah, it's a, it's a cluster in a little bit of a sense because you can see the dirty laundry of these organizations out on display. And it's, it's really not what you want your franchise quarterback to be doing, but in, in both senses, I can just see why they're doing it. I'm, I'm not against the player necessarily. Uh, in this situation, Russell Wilson doesn't like getting tattooed on the on the pavement every week. You know, he wants mm-hmm. some protection. I get it. He also needs a better offensive script, and hopefully, he gets it next year with the new coordinator. We'll see. He can't, he's coming over from the Rams uh, and Jared Goff, and so at least there's a little bit more uh, pass heavy experience for for the Rams at least last couple of years. So we'll see. Uh, let me ask you this. Let's talk a little Deshaun. Okay. So first of all, who do you, who would you rather have for 2021 on your fantasy team and on your football team? Who do you want? Russell or Deshaun? Um, you know, right now I'm going to say Russell because of the weapons losing Will Fuller is a problem. Now, if they go out and sign a big wide receiver, I think that could tilt the scale, but uh, you know, cooks and then, um, who else? There was a white guy. I remember some white guy. Um, oh, I they, got there to that, be um, they got that other little speedster. Um, oh, geez, man. You know me. I freaking suck with names. Um, oh, no. Kiki Cutie. Yeah, he's, right. He's a, he's a cutie. Yeah, no, no. But still, I mean, sorry, Mike. I didn't mean to hit you there. I love you. Um, no worries, never hit my mic like that. No, but it's just not. I mean, it's not Lockett. And it's not, you know, DK or Metcalf. So, well, I mean, let me ask you this. Why, why would you want to have Russell Wilson win over the last three years, 2020, 2019, 2018? Guess who's had m- more points per game? You're going to tell me it's Deshaun Watson, aren't you? It's Rook. And why is his name Rook? Why is Deshaun know. Watson called Rook? I don't even know. I, I saw your tweet. Yeah. And then I saw somebody getting angry about yeah why he's called rook and i don't understand any of it i don't understand why why he's called rook and mm-hmm. why that's offensive yeah what's what's wrong with being called rook is it rookie I, is it is it diminutive like what does yeah. that mean i don't know but uh, apparently according to my my gifts i'm suing so you know i can't legally talk about it on the show but but yeah i mean that's i think that that's where it, probably the derivation of it is i'm gonna do some some you know crackpot research and figure that one out for the next show. But um, how are you feeling about some tweeting? What, what, what are you feeling? You feeling tweet? Hey tweet man, here we are, the Fantasy Millionaires' first show with Worldwide Sports Radio Network. And this is how we like to get down right towards the end. We got three tweets. Uh, I got a, I got a banger hot off the presses mm-hmm. that I found hours before the show. So I, 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 I flipped my three tweets up on you. Uh, you're going to go to Jake Tobridge, Jake. Uh, another thing too, here, here's my theory for Russell Wilson's decline. Jake Tobridge, mm-hmm. uh, started, he started, uh, he went so viral. He started the Russell Wilson, uh, Joan tweets and then posts. You remember that? Like Russell Wilson likes to clean his soap, mm-hmm. you know, A- after that, his season yeah. went down. And that was thanks to Jake Tobridge, who I picked. He he's he's a very funny dude, and he does he does great impressions. So this is Jake Tobridge doing Bill Burr doing a Jerry Seinfeld bit. Okay. Can, can I tell you what's so funny is that this is the one I sent you. This is my. <laughs> <show>. <laughs> 
Okay. But it's okay. okay. I've got an I've got another one as a good okay. one. I'm, we, okay. We're gonna well, have I'm retweets. stealing your no. I'm stealing your tweet. Oh, no, okay? you're good. I, I love it. I love it. Let's I've do got, it. Listen, uh, let's, you do let's, it for you. This is your tweet. I'll find my tweet. No, no, no. This is fine. I've got another good one. I'm gonna do it anyway. So, but okay. I, I don't want to make. He does a video. You can see his face a little bit. I'd rather just people listen, honestly, mm -hmm. because it's so mm -hmm. good that if you look at him, it's not going to ruin it. But it's better if you just listen. So this is this is incredible. I love it. Here you go. Here's Jake. I swear, the luge is the only sport in the Olympics. You can take a guy that doesn't even want to do it, and he'd be fine. I'm serious. You can take a guy who's just been sitting on his couch. You shove them down that thing. They don't even have a bobsled, right? It's just them. It's just Bob. You shove them down that thing, and they're going to win a gold. They don't even have to try. I swear, just pull a guy off the corner, shove them down that slope. Ah! <laughs> right? Involuntary, voluntary. It doesn't matter. Gold. Guaranteed gold. In fact, I'd like to see that in the next Olympics. I would. I would. I'd, I'd like to see the involuntary luge. <laughs> That's awesome. I, I turn myself off. I love it. It, it is. Uh, it's incredible. It's what it is. And uh, I'm so, so funny that we both put it up there. Because I never like to look at what you send me, I know. and I I don't I I, I I save mine right till him. before because I don't want you to preview it. So me that's too. hilarious. All right, I've got one, and um, okay. I'm gonna put it up here. Hold on, real quick. And um, I'm I'm gonna first I'm gonna read it right, mm -hmm. and so I'm gonna read it, and then I'll share the video. So here's what it says. It says, and this is talking about the video you're gonna watch. It says. This reminded me of when my dad would take me fishing and rock the rickety tin rental boat and tell me <laughs> that if I fell in the black lake water, the dead trees would come alive and pull me down to death. Moral of the story is I learned to be a man and did not <laughs> and not some crybaby like this kid. So here we go. This is my, my dad hero of the year. I love this guy. This is my. Excuse me, I have to figure out how to work this now. Are you doing uh oh, okay? How was school yeah. today? Hello? Hello. I'm just a bear driving. Daddy, is that that? Nope, I'm a bear. <laughs> 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 You're in my world now. I you want to go home? Yeah. You are home in my bear cave. Ah. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> oh, man. You had this and that. Those are bangers, bro. Oh, thank you, brother. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Well, let's yeah. get to yours because we got two minutes until we got to hop out of here. So, okay. okay. Uh, go to the Tom Cruise. I don't know if you saw this one either, but uh, it's right above it. Oh, I this love this. Is, uh, I love this. This. Is, yeah. this is a deep fake. Did you have you seen this? Yes. Let's do this. This is crazy. This is not Tom Cruise, but it's a deep fake Tom Cruise. And the internet, like we've been talking about, is just getting out of control. This is fake. This is deep fake Tom Cruise talking. He doesn't sound quite right, but boy, he looks right. It's insane how perfect that that is not Tom Cruise. No, on. They, the way it works, it's like some sort of weird AI that that studies everything and then makes these things. So. Hey, listen up, sports and TikTok fans. I love it. If you like what you're seeing, sports for the audio experience. experience. <laughs> That's crazy. As much as the momentum. Hey, listen up, sports and TikTok fans. If you like what you're seeing, just wait till what's coming next. <laughs> <laughs> On that note. Every Monday night, 10 p.m. during the off season, here we'll be. Just wait till what comes next. Oh man, that is a that's a great exit. Uh, I love it, my friend. Yeah, it's been a great first show.
I'm gonna turn that down a little bit. It's been a great first show. I love it. Check Mike out over uh, at the at the Ralph Macho Mike on Twitter. I'm Nimble W Numbers on Twitter. We can't wait to be back next week. We'll be back every week, Monday, 10 o'clock. We'll see you back next week, everybody. Peace. We live here now. That's what we do. Yeah, this is our show now. Ranger Station, Ranger speaking. Hi, um, I'd like to report a bear hug. Yeah, uh-huh. Okay. Well, we were building a bonfire, and I, I saw some, like, dry brush and leaves around, so, you know, I, I said to move the bonfire somewhere else, and out of nowhere, Smokey Bear shows up and hugs me. So you noticed some wildfire hazards and moved your bonfire to a safer location. Yeah. Yeah, that's Smokey, all right. He likes it when people help prevent wildfires. He did some close calls. Not everybody gets the hug, my friend. So that's pretty special to get a hug from Smokey Bear. Ah, so it was him. Guys, I told you it was Smokey. Okay, well, congratulations, my friend. And thanks for calling. There are many ways to prevent a wildfire. Learn how you can do your part at SmokeyBear.com. Only you can prevent wildfires. Sponsored by the U.S. Forest Service, Ad Council, and your state forester. Hope you enjoyed your meal. And I just want to say, he's lucky to have a brother like you. Lucky? Caring for my brother is far from easy. Waking up every day, lifting him from the bed to the wheelchair to the car to get him to therapy on time. It's no small task between the doctors and the diagnosis, but nothing can disable this love. This is my big brother, my hero. He's part of me, like my arms and legs. So I'll be his. <laughs> See, there's no time for tired. This starts again tomorrow. He'll be waiting for me. I'll wake up for him. I know he needs me, but I'm the lucky one. Even though I need help now and then. If you're caring for a loved one, visit aarp.org caregiving for care guides and community. Or call 877-333-5885. Caregiving Resource Center. Support for your strength. Brought to you by AARP and the Ad Council. Be fearless at MMA Long Island and Seituha Karate. Located at 28 Cold Court in Ronkonkoma, MMA Long Island is the martial arts school for you if you want to learn combat-proven techniques, build confidence, discipline, and self-esteem while learning real martial arts to fight back against bullies, predators, and peer pressure. MMA Long Island offers group and private lessons for all ages and levels in traditional goju-ru karate, MMA, and self-defense. MMA Long Island is one of Long Island's most affordable martial arts schools. There are no promotion, belt, or membership fees, and family discounts are available. All classes are taught by 7th degree black belt Sensei John Benedict with over 30 years teaching experience. So whether you want to get in the ring or protect yourself and your family, MMA Long Island can help you reach your goals. Visit MMALongIsland.com. That's MMALongIsland.com or call or text 516-381-9660. That's 516-381-9660. Do current market conditions have you nervous? Our experienced team of financial professionals at Heritage Harbor Financial Associates understands that no two investors are alike. We all have different goals, needs, and appetites for risk. That's why the one-size-fits-all approach does not work, especially when planning for retirement. At Heritage Harbor Financial Associates, we analyze your unique investment style so that you can work toward your individual retirement goals on your terms. Heritage Harbor Financial Associates can help you take steps to reach your retirement goals by providing a wide array of financial products to fit your needs, even for the risk adverse. Give us a call at 631-331-6599 to learn more or to set up an appointment with one of our financial professionals. You can also find us on the web at hhfa.org or on Facebook at facebook.com slash hhfa.org. Our number again is 631-331-6599. That's 631-331-6599. Investments in stocks, bonds, and mutual funds and variable annuities are not FDIC insured and are subject to fluctuation in value market market risk, including loss of principal Heritage Harbor Financial Associates, offer securities through AXA Advisors, LLC, New York, New York, member FINRA, SIPC, annuity, and insurance products offered through AXA Network, LLC. Edward Lehman has been a trusted insurance advisor for over 16 years with insurance solutions for auto, home, commercial, life, and retirement. He's located at 54 Sunnyside Boulevard, Suite H in Plainview. That's just 1,000 feet south of 495. Local agent, 
local advice. The time to think about insurance is before you need it. So do yourself a favor, and before you pay your next insurance bill, give Ed and his team a call, 516-935-3900, or visit them online at www.allstate.com forward slash EL. Edward H. Lehman Insurance is your trusted insurance advisor. 